All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm here as one Crookshank, your one and only move swiftly speaker, former Division I college football player, and current five-time published author and educator. We're here. We're back for another Wintrepreneur Wednesday. You heard me correctly. Not intrapreneur, not solopreneur, not entrepreneur. I am teaching you how to become a win entrepreneur. We want you winning in all your entrepreneurial ventures, and we want you doing it in an in, in an entrepreneurial way. If you don't know what the term entrepreneur means, it actually means to be the have the entrepreneurial mindset within a large organization. Do a lot of things when it comes to initiative, create innovation, and you have the mindset of constantly aligning your business or aligning what you would want your life to look like you're aligning it with a company that you are very, very passionate about. And you treat the company that pays you every two weeks, you treat that company as if it is your business. And that's very, very important, especially nowadays, where we have everybody out there calling themselves entrepreneurs and want you, in my opinion, a lot of them are entrepreneurs, but it's so easy to just call yourself an entrepreneur these days. But it's important that we understand the terms and just being an entrepreneur doesn't mean you just go and quit your job and don't have a way of paying yourself and things of that nature. What I do as Mr. Teamwork guy, the innovative teamwork guy, again, I have the, this show, you may be listening to this on the Move Swiftly podcast. It's the number one show on innovative teamwork for a reason, because I'm constantly, constantly giving you lessons, giving you perspectives on teamwork, All right? So before I get into today's tip, you know what I'm going to send you? I got to send you to makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. Make sure you purchase an N. I L package. This includes all three of these books right here. The one you're looking at is titled Transfer in D1, a practical guide on how to navigate the chaotic world of college athletics in this, again, I repeat, chaotic world with the transfer portal with uh, name, image, which NIL, name, image, and likeness. And now that the NCAA is able to, has made it so power five schools are able to pay players directly from the school. It's absolute chaos. It's absolute chaos. And you're going to need ways of navigating and guiding your way through all the mess. So transferring D1 touches on all that. All right. Next one you get six figure athlete. All right. Now, right now, again, athletes that are listening to me, I'm breaking news, breaking news. I've said it once and I'm going to continuously say it. You're always one injury away from your entire career, your entire athletic career being over. All right. It, just the reality of the situation. All right. That's how high risk sports are. You need a plan. You need to have a specific thing in your mind to say, if your playing career ended today, you know specifically how to make money. That's what happened. That's what the Six Figure Athlete is all about. I partnered with 10 other authors on this, and the majority of these authors have also been on my podcast as well. Six Figure Athlete. Also, make your move. Make your move. A unique look into boxing, dance, and entrepreneurship. I make the bold claim in this book, and it comes out to be true every single time, that boxing and dance are the best activities that you can do for whatever your number one sport is, whether it's the hip movement, the mindset, the cardio, all of that stuff. And I document it here. I have actual examples. I actually interviewed quite a few boxers and uh, dancers and things like that. So NIL package, all of that is available on makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. All right, now. To get to today's actual entrepreneur tip, this happened about three years ago. Three years ago, I was actually a teacher. I was a teacher at a, it's like a daycare slash educator type facility called Kinder Care, right? And I started there, it was around 2021. We just made it through an absolute chaotic year in COVID and everything was shut down and I had to kind of switch industries. I had to leave fitness and athletics and jump over to the education side because I just put my first book out and I was looking to you know, do a lot with kids and utilize the book and get, get the book some rotation in the educational world, which is what drew me to be an educator today is making sure I'm doing what I have to do to to make sure I'm staying relevant and practicing what I preach in, in so many words, right? So the way kinder care worked is they they were set up in like different separate classrooms. You had your infants, you had your two and three-year-olds, if I'm not, you had your two-year-olds, then you had your three-year-olds, then you had your four and five-year-olds, I believe that was VPK, and then you had your school-age kids. So all of them, they had the whole setup where they were separated by age, right? So- <clears throat> They had a week in which I believe one of the kids caught COVID. You know, one of the kids caught COVID. And yes, when that happens, 
uh, the the regulations at that time were you had to shut down the entire classroom for a week. So that means teachers weren't getting paid for a week because one person, one kid in the entire classroom caught COVID and, you know, teachers had to figure it out and, you know, look, money's coming in, our bills are getting high and, you know, take a whole week off with no pay. That gonna was going to hit people pretty hard, right? So Luckily, it wasn't my room. It happened to be the room that was right next to me that somebody caught COVID and they didn't shut down the room that I was the teacher in. But one of the late one of the teachers from the other room, they had to again, they couldn't do anything. They couldn't work. They weren't allowed to be in the building during that full week. So when the kids got back is what actually has inspired today's entrepreneur tip is one of the teachers throughout that week actually decided that she was going to go babysit. She was going to babysit one of the kids at home at their house. And she was actually paid more that week because she decided that she was going to go do it on her own. All right. Mindset. Now that same teacher, I believe she's no longer with the company, but I know for a fact about two years later, about a year and a half later, she became the manager of that actual facility. All right. And it's all mindset. It's all making sure you look, you're doing what you have to do to stay ready for whatever may happen in life. And then also at the same time, it's like, look, when that does happen, when that does happen, I'm prepared. I have the integrity. Obviously, she's built up enough trust amongst the parents to where she can go. That parent trusted her to go watch her kid when she wasn't home at her house, the whole thing. And then she didn't miss a beat and it didn't affect her job per se, right? Then it didn't make it so she got fired, but she did something small that if you look in turn and you look up what a couple of years later, now she's running the place and she's the manager, right? That mindset, that mindset is something that you need to be approaching every single day with, all right? And trust me, I, I know I live through it. I know exactly what <clears throat> it can feel like if you are actually working a job and you don't feel appreciated, you don't feel like you're gelling with the quote end quote staff or you you're not in this inner circle that a staff creates i get all that trust me it, it's it happens all the time your rebuttal and your response and the way you handle these situations is all right look i'm gonna understand the bigger picture i'm gonna go and just like i don't, don't want to say your name but just like the teacher i was referring to i'm going to make sure i have a solid relationship with the people that matter and the people that mattered in this situation were the parents that were bringing their kids to this particular daycare every single day. And those people matter. And then when something like this happens, I'll be ready. I'll be prepared. And not only is that going to help me, but also if I wanted to stay with the company, I'm going to be able to elevate and move up to the managerial level. These are all the little things that need to be going on in your head every single day, regardless of what it is you do, how much you hate your boss, how much you can't stand your staff, how much the colleagues that you work with get on your nerves. They don't matter. What matters is the service you provide and do you believe in the service and are you going to do things that are going to make you more valuable to providing that service with the company or without the company? That's the essence of entrepreneurship, right? So leave it at that for now. <clears throat> and like I said, Every single Wednesday, we come here, we talk about entrepreneurship, we talk about entre entrepreneurship, how to deal and be have the mindset of taking the initiative to get things done so we do not make excuses, all right? As I mentioned earlier, the main website to check out to dive deeper into all of my work is makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. There you can make sure you schedule a call with me. I definitely would love to come out and host a workshop for if you're a business owner of 20 more, twenty or more employees. I would definitely love to come out and, and talk to you about hosting a workshop for your employees so your staff develops the mindset to where they're continuously and continuously take an initiative, a lot like the, a lot like the stories and the, the situations that I tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, that I talk to you about here on this channel, all right? Again, let me give you the website one more time, makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.